Hello, welcome my dear friends to uh, self emptying service uh, here today at Hill Media Africa. Our topic is on recognizing or acknowledging your helper in the name of the Father and of the Son and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. Holy Spirit of God, you who the Son promised to send and to help us to be our advocate and mother and to help us to remember all that he taught us. Give us the grace, we pray, to be able to be grateful to you and to all whom you are helping us through, through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Holy Spirit was sent by the Father and the Son in the persons of the Trinity. And Jesus in the Gospel of John 15, 1 down to 7, reminded us of the necessity of a helper, of the advocate, of the Spirit. But we also know in our day-to-day -day life that the Holy Spirit uses and that we have encountered helpers on our way to life, in life. Other people becoming our aiders, aiding us in different moments of our need. One thing is the key and it's necessary. And that is giving honor to whom honor is due. In research work, no matter the method we use, for we lawyers, we use the Oscola method. Some people use Turretin and the rest of the methods. Depend on the field of studies you have. It is academically called plagiarism. When you take a material already researched by another to support or to embellish your own writing without acknowledging the person and the source of that material. And you could get zero and your whole degree could be watered down to nothing. You start afresh. That's how dangerous and how serious it is when we don't acknowledge the one who ought to be acknowledged. And so, if this material, in material sense, this one that is personal, because when you're researching, you're researching in your room or in the library. But when we are talking of acknowledging your helper as in one who is building you, as it were, he's not researching, he's building you up. He's making you have relevance. He's setting you on a good platform, laying a platform for you to shine and to outweigh shame and disgrace and appallingness. Then it is much more needed that you acknowledge that one. Because out of nothing comes nothing. Ex nihilo, nihilo fit. But it is out of nothing that we, God has brought us into existence. And so we owe God our creation. We owe God our sustenance, so to say. We owe the Holy Spirit, whom the Son and the Father sent to aid us to remember the teachings of Christ. We also owe one another. Thank you. Because that is what builds up the body and the ladder of growth. It encourages them to empty themselves more and more every day. I put before you, God, all my family, Hill Media Africa, Home Team Hans African Life, 
water for life, the mergers, the boom and bunker families and mems before you. Give us grace to acknowledge those who spend their time day and night to make us happen. We thank you as you grant us that through Christ our Lord. Amen.